All right, everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna be unboxing a MacBook Pro. Uh, it's been a long time since I purchased one of these. I think I got one back in like 2013 or 12 and ran that into the ground. I've been editing most of my videos on my iPhone, so it's been time to upgrade. And I went with this, I went with a new MacBook Pro. Uh, this one has the M1 chip in it. And before we get into all the details, uh, let's open the box as always. Apple ha uh, always has some sharp packaging and you know, something to help you make this process easy here. Uh, a little tear tab, awesome. Always on the cutting edge with ways to make your life easier. All right, let's get this open here. So let's look at the packaging. Nice. MacBook Pro. Beautiful. Right. Standard stuff. It tells me what we got inside this box. So we have the 14 inch MacBook Pro with Apple M1 Pro chip, 16 gigabytes of unified memory, 500 gigabytes solid state, drive perfect all right let's flip that over and let's see what we have inside all right here we go <clears throat> all right oh there it is and i always like these pull tabs make it super easy to get your device out of there all right, I'm just gonna pull these items out and then we'll come back and take a look at everything, all right? All right, so we got the MacBook. We got the charger. Take that out of there. Put that up there. Unwrap the ugly stuff off camera. Uh, we got the literature. All right, the standard stuff. Take that out of there. Nice. Talks about welcome to your new Mac to your MacBook Pro. We'll go over some of the stuff that's in there. That's actually good stuff. I think stickers. The black stickers. I'm liking it. I like those over the white ones. We got charging brick. Nice. Get that off of there. And then a question for all the viewers. How many of you are guilty of keeping these boxes uh, forever? I don't know why, but I think I still have a couple somewhere in closets in my house. I'm finding them and throwing them out, and I'm throwing this out too. I'm starting a new trend, all right, people? We're getting rid of our old MacBook boxes. And if no one does that and it's just me, well, I guess I'm crazy. All right, anyway, let's look at this thing. This over here. All right. All right, so we all know what the charging brick looks like, right? Standard. I got this trash out of here. And for a while, it's my understanding that they weren't going with the MagSafe charger, all right? Um, well, that's back, and I'm pretty excited about that because I think this thing is pretty legit, all right? So here we go. We got the braided cable, MagSafe with uh, USB -C, with this USB-C at the end, and it's my understanding that this will give you 50%, a 50% charge in 30 minutes. So pretty sweet. We'll get that off camera. Now, what everyone is here for, to see what's under here. Slide it out. All 
right, and I like here on the bottom that it's got a MacBook Pro engraved. I think that's that's pretty cool looking. Sorry, my light's not the best. There we go. All right, cool. So we got this. All right, we've got this. There you go. I'll just let everyone just look at that for a moment. We'll zoom in. All right, looking good. All right, and now let's talk about uh, some of the things that I would that I like about this so far, and I haven't even turned it on yet. All right, I love again, like I said, got the MagSafe MagSafe three charger. You have two Thunderbolt ports. All right, uh, Thunderbolt four, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Thunderbolt four ports, uh, USB C, three point five millimeter headphone jack, always, and then on this side. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be a, what's this going to be called? The SDXC card. Yep, this is going to be for your SDXC card slot right here. Sorry, guys. Uh, another Thunderbolt 4 port, uh, USB-C, and an HDMI port. All right, that is that is sweet. Uh, I think on some of the other versions, they're going to be in the back. But on the 14-inch that I have, uh, it's right here. All right, so now... Uh, we'll open it up. I know I have to charge this. So what we'll do is I'm going to get this charged and then we'll be back momentarily uh, to take a look at everything else. All right. All right. I gave it some juice uh, enough to get the screen turned, you know, fired up and all that so we can take a quick look. Uh, what's inside here? Uh, just a few quick, you know, key pointers. We got like the menu bar up top here. All right, similar to what we're used to in the MacBooks. All right, you've got over here. You've got your control center, which I think is really cool. Uh, on the version MacBook I had, we didn't have that, so maybe that's old news. Anyway, down here, obviously, you got your dock, right? <clears throat> You got your finder, as always, system preferences over here. Uh, one thing I like on this is the keyboard brightness being adjustable uh, right here in, in the control center. You just click on that, light up the keyboard. It's hard to see because I have a light on, but you get the hand, you get the idea. Uh, so yeah, you got all that. And honestly, I think it's a pretty sharp looking computer uh, for the stuff that my wife will be doing on this, like surfing the internet and, you know, doing random things of that nature, school related stuff for the kids. Uh, this is perfect. And for me, you know, editing videos in iMovie and using GarageBand for music from time to time, it'll be perfect. Uh, one thing people didn't like that I don't even notice is that there's this bar up here. All right, you can see that right there. Apparently the community was not too happy about that, but honestly, uh, if you have an iPhone, it's on all of our iPhones, right? And we're used to it there. And I didn't even notice it because, you know, you've got your menu bar up here. So I wouldn't even want my screen encroaching on that area, but that's just my opinion. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's the MacBook. Uh, like I said, this one that I have here has the, <clears throat> hold on. This one that I have, have here has the M1 Pro chip. I went with the 16 gigs of RAM, uh, 512 gigs, uh, solid state drive. Uh, what did I have here? The eight core CPU. I think it says it's a 14 core GPU, uh, 14 inch screen. Yeah, I went through all that earlier. So hopefully this helped you guys out, uh, make your decision. Uh, if not, drop some comments in the questions. Uh, as I use this more, I'll be able to answer some questions and I've been using another model of this for a while. So I'm pretty familiar with how it works. So yeah, hope this helped. Think about liking and subscribing. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.